you know, mixed feelings. I'm nervous at the same time. It's such a nostalgic moment for me. So yeah, it's great to see, get into your old campus, same familiar buildings and people, lecturers. So it feels great. It feels homely. <laughs> After I finished my uh, 12th, that was in Mangalore, then I came here. So for me, Bangalore was a new city and um, I was in hostel for three years. So Jane was like my second home actually. The college, the campus, hostel, everything that is here. Uh, the coming, you know, about talking about college, they have supported me in every way possible because it was not just studies for me, I was into other activities as well. I was into dance, I was into fashion shows. So there comes where lecturers play an important role because they have to give you leaves, they have to support you when you're not in class, they need to, um, you know, make up your notes and they have to help you in every other way, you know, in extra way possible. So that's what that helped me because along with my studies, I used to go and attend a lot of fest, inter-college fest. I used to go for dance competitions, fashion shows, sports. So when I come back, they are there to help me. They're there to support me. I think it's good, right, that um, we are actually accepting it. It's no more unconventional, it is conventional because that's how we all should grow and we all should evolve and explore everything that is there around you. So I, for me, modeling was never an unconventional um, stream. For me, it was always something very interesting, very glamorous feel that I always felt like entering and, you know, be a part of it. And I'm very happy to say that I'm actually part of it. So, yeah, uh, I think um, there's nothing harm in this field. It, it's all in your control. I think in every, every field has its own pros and cons. So, it's something like that. Again, it depends on your dreams. If, you, like, for, a, for example, I have uh, completed my engineering. I was working at Accenture. I felt that I'm, this is not what I wanted to do. This is what not, not what I wanted to carry forward. So I liked walking in the ramp. I wanted to take part in beauty pageants, and that's what I did. And I'm actually happy, and everybody are proud around me, my family, my lecturers, my college people, my friends. So it is good. There's no harm. It's just that you see what is good for you, what you are, in which field you can put your heart and soul into it. You can follow that. Which is external and internal. Uh, it's way beyond the physical appearance that we are talking about. Beauty could be anything. The morning sunrise that I see, that's beauty for me. Um, you know, um, people helping each other, that is beauty for me. So leading a beautiful life itself is a beauty for me. So I think beauty is something, anything that is there around you, which, which actually gives happiness to you, that's beauty. I don't think that Okay, just the appearance, that is beauty. So for me, it's, it's a whole holistic meaning of beauty is just lead a beautiful life. That's difficult because there are a lot of things were going on for me when I was getting crowned. But um, one word, then that would be blessed. Follow your dreams, put your heart and soul into anything that you do. It could be sometimes you, are, you ended up doing something you do not like, but still put your heart and soul into it. I'm sure you will be successful one day. So yes, uh, follow your dreams, do not self-doubt, and please keep supporting me. I'm going for a, a huge thing where I'm representing my country, so please support me.